Hello, this is Zig777, and welcome to episode 15 of Simply Magic 2. Uh, we're starting off today in a creative test world. Uh, for some reason, it's a different creative test world, but that's because it's just a world I created. Um, we're here for a couple reasons. One, um, you can see the top of the screen there, it says Fire Guardian. I'm still trying to figure out how to f fight him. <laughs> uh, i kind of given up on that. I'm just going to probably leave him alone. Um, but this structure in front of us here is my next plan. So we're in creative because I was trying to figure out different ways of doing this and how much room it'll take up. Um, this is, as far as I know, it's a newer, I think it's an original design for how to do this. So what this is is a crafty crate at the bottom. It's saying open crate for some reason, but it's a crafty crate. And uh, so if you look here, we have a stack of hoppers and stacks of droppers. If it could be dispensers, it doesn't really matter. Droppers are easier to craft because they don't require a bow because those don't stack. So that's kind of a pain for crafting. Um, I had tried using a, a vanilla kind of redstone ladder with uh, little half slabs and redstone alternating going up and up and up, but for some reason, uh, vanilla is to blame with that. It kind of quasi-powers these, it's kind of similar to how a vanilla block update detector would work, um, but basically what it ends up doing is, you can see where it says triggered false there, it would randomly decide that for some reason, this guy right here, this fourth one up, would be powered and just stay powered which means it'd work exactly once, and then after that it'd never work again. So basically what the way this works is I have a dropper set up for each of the different items. In this case, it's for crafting a spark. So I've got crafting placeholders, and the various materials I need, blaze powder, etc., etc., all the way up. And then basically you just press a button, everything loads into here, and then once it's done, it'll pop out the bottom. You can see there, we now have a spark and four crafting placeholders. So this is pretty much the design I'm going to be using in my actual world there. Um, I have a couple more things I want to add to this design. Uh, one, as you can see, it's powered by a single pulse. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have four sets of droppers around each little stack of hoppers here. Uh, that way I can use a single tower to craft four different items. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is basically set up a repeater clock to go around the outside and just one at a time, power this one, power the next one, power the next one, etc., and just loop around it, and probably have it like a three second delay or something between, so it has time to actually craft something first. Um, that basically, that's not gonna directly power it though, I'm gonna have to set up a kind of vanilla AND gate system, where if I have a signal from, like before, the corporea spark, or the corporea crystal cube, uh, corporea, so grab a spark, grab an index, not an index, crystal cube. So basically I'd have this be somewhere around here. If it's outputting its signal with the same system as before with the uh, uh, bookcases and all that, it outputs a signal or scratch that. It does not output a signal. That means I don't have the materials. So if it does not output a signal and then it gets a pulse from outside here, it'll automatically then craft whatever it is. And I'll just keep going around the circle until everything is crafted and then this guy will start outputting a signal to stop this side from going, and then whenever the next one's got however many I need of that, it'll stop outputting that one, and basically just keep going around. My plan is to have, well, quite a few of these uh, little crafting towers. I'm going to have quite a few of these set up underneath my base there. I'm going to have to dig down a little bit further so I have room, and yeah, that's kind of the, the general idea of what we're going to do today. Um, I do need to figure out how to set up the actual system down here, the clock and the AND gates and all that. Hook it all up and we should have auto crafting. So let's get into the actual world. So we are down in our basement here. Um, this area right here I think is going to work. I actually came up with a different design. Um, I realized that um, I was kind of treating the crafty crate as being the expensive part, but really it's just wood. I mean it's wood they toss into the Alfheim portal, but it's really just wood which is cheap. So I was basically trying to get lots of things to go into one crafty crate, but really it's going to be easier just to have individual crafty crates for each thing. Um, and also I was able to make a smaller footprint, as well as much easier redstone wiring, because I don't have to worry about um, kind of alternating which side gets a pulse, I can just run everything off the same pulse. So simplifies everything, and it's smaller, and yeah, much easier to build. But uh, first up here, our problem is going to be that this structure is 12 blocks tall. And I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks here. I don't actually want to go up into that top area there because I want to keep that open for uh, any, basically for routing the corpora and everything. Um, so, we've got some digging. Um, 
So I think what we're going to do is we're going to consider that top line there, the uh, living rock there. I think we're going to consider that the roof. Um, it's kind of how I'm treating everything, everything out here. Um, so this is going to be down a few levels. So let's see, we've got five. So I need six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go, twelve. Um, let's go ahead and light this up. One disadvantage of the uh, um, ritual I was using for mining is that it kind of just leaves big holes everywhere, uh, which you can kind of hear the zombies and stuff around me. It's There's probably like a coal, a coal vein around here. Um, yeah, we're going to kind of clean it up as we go. Um, I'd, I wish I had just filled it in with like cobble or something useless, but whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out a big area here. Um, actually, I'm probably going to go 13. Um, yeah, let's not do light. I wanted... Why aren't you breaking? There we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to go down 13. That'll leave me, leave me at least one spot up there above my head for working. So I'm going to dig this out, and I'll be right back. So the first crafting pit, I guess is what I'm going to call it, crafting pit, is built, uh, or at least dug out. So let's go ahead and start placing in what we actually need. So we need an output chest, and the output chest is going to be below a crafty crate. So place that two above it. Um, the crafty crate just drops items out the bottom. I don't remember if it can go directly into the hopper or what. Um, let's actually break that. I forgot I need a hopper here to pick things up. Um, let's go ahead and break you. There we go. Uh, yeah, for some reason my mouse has been behaving a little weirdly today. It's been placing blocks twice. Like I'll click and it won't do anything, and then I'll click it again. Still didn't do anything. There we go. Yeah, it sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. It's kind of a pain digging this out. I mean, you need to click a lot anyway, but yeah, it started like digging two holes into the wall and it was just obnoxious. So yeah, so output chest is here. Hopper goes into it. Craft crate above it. So let's go ahead and turn on flight. Yep, once again, didn't work. There we go. Um, I did, I think, fix the, uh, the block uh, rendering problems I was having before. Um, there was a, a setting in uh, better FPS, I think is what it was. Um, yeah, so I changed that thing, and then I also installed Optifine, so I'm getting a pretty steady uh, 40 FPS, which isn't too bad. Uh, others who have better computers than me will say it's unplayable at this point, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so hopper number one, hopper number two, actually let's wait on the hoppers first. Um, the reason for that is I need actually a thing to, to um, you know, I need a thing to actually deposit into my hopper. So let's break you and turn flight back on and we want a drop my spacebar decided to stop hitting spacebar um drop it right there two let's see i need three four yep there we go there's that double placing five six six seven eight nine yeah nine that's all i need so let's go ahead, break you. I'm going to go probably fall onto it. There we go. And now the hoppers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have our droppers here. We have hoppers going there. Um, I need to make the uh, slimy redstone to go up the side of it. But basically, that part's ready. Um, let's go ahead and place some stone here. Uh, we're going to probably swap it out for some other sort of stone. Yeah, double clicking is getting really annoying. So place you, break you, break you. So this level here is where our actual redstone is going to be going. Um, I need a block here because I need to have the slimy, slime redstone, whatever. Redstone paste, that's the word. You can have that be here. A repeater going in here, which I don't have on me, of course. Um, that's going to go straight up. So I need this block here is for redstone paste, this is for a repeater, and this here is for redstone. I don't have any regular redstone on me either, do I? So this is basically a redstone line down the middle. Um, actually, I'm going to move it here. I'm going to have just an extra space. Uh, the reason for that is just so it's nice and symmetric here. Um, it is nine blocks wide, this area. So that will work out pretty nicely to have the redstone just go down the middle. So I'm going to get the materials I need and then start building the actual circuit here and probably build a couple more of the towers. 
So this area is starting to take shape. I haven't done any decorating whatsoever, of course. Um, but here's how it works. The corporeal cube goes into the comparator as before. Uh, there will be, actually let me break this, I put that in the wrong spot. A oak bookcase. Uh, again, very similar setup of what I've been doing. Um, I've placed it this direction so it won't interact with the hoppers, with, or yeah, with the hoppers, with the droppers, with redstone paste, or with really anything except for just the comparator here. Um, the first thing I'm going to craft is hoppers. Now let's place you in there, and it shows I have zero. Let's go ahead and double check to make sure that that does in fact read my inventory. I don't have any up there, so I need to check that. So let's go back here and go ahead and toss our hoppers in. And let's run downstairs again and double check that it's actually reading the four that are in there now. It should. I think it does. There we go. Perfect. So this reads four. This is currently putting a redstone signal out because I have more than the zero that I'm requesting. So if I were to put a redstone signal on this, it wouldn't do anything. Let's go ahead and double check that when I press the button, that does not light up. So press the it lights up this middle row here. But if you can see in the corner here, it does not light up the path going up. Everything else does light up because they're currently not being lit up. So I'm not going to have a button here, of course. I'm going to put a, uh, what's it called? I'm drawing a blank, the magical hourglass. The hourglass thingy from Batania. Uh, so basically, that'll pulse. I'm going to put a single redstone, a red sand in it, which will be a 10 second delay. It'll pulse every 10 seconds. And if I have not enough hoppers in my system, then once I have these set up, I'll have this row along here to be able to put my, uh, probably use uh, blood magic nodes, um, just to keep like probably two or three of each item in each. Um, so I don't have like a huge inventory of parts in this thing. So these will all be filled with the uh, blood magic nodes. Um, that'll keep those in stock. The individual parts will of course be auto-crafted everywhere else. Um, but we're gonna start off with hoppers. Um, the reason I'm doing hoppers is, as you can see, I use a lot of hoppers. The next thing I'm gonna be using is droppers, of course. <laughs> um, pretty much everything else is gonna be as I need it, what I'll be needing, but I figure I need to first set up my auto crafting for my auto crafting system. Um, the crystal cubes and stuff, I'll, I'll be needing those, of course, but I don't need them nearly as much. Um, I do need, however, for each of these hoppers, I need a chest. Um, I'm actually going to use a slightly different setup for that. Um, the reason for that is I can make a very much more compact system due to the way that these uh, crafty crates work, which is displaying open crate, whatever. Um, what I can do is there's various patterns. So if I look up craft, yeah. So there's these little crafting patterns here, and there should be, if I recall, a donut shaped one. Yeah, donut. Um, so what I can do is have just one of this in there, and I can simply have just a hopper that's stopped by redstone. Um, I won't need to do really anything except for the whole comparator and all that, but basically that'll just control a single hopper that's just constantly being fed like oak wood. Uh, it'll just continuously feed wood into the crafty crate until it drops out the chest. Um, I'm actually going to be able to do a similar setup with the droppers, I think. Well, I might just do that in this regular uh, tower configuration as well anyway, um, just because I do need to have one redstone. Um, if I go to drop, yeah, the dropper needs a single redstone at the bottom. Otherwise, I could use the donut shape, but really, it doesn't really matter. I might as well just do the whole nine by nine, the three by three setup. Um, but basically, that's how this whole structure is going to work. I'm going to just as I go fill this in. Probably going to just expand this way all the way until I get to the end of my wall. I might have kind of two uh, holes like this down here for crafting, um, and I'm thinking I'm going to put a floor level with the regular floor, probably with glass, so I can look down and see how everything's working, and probably put an elevator of some sort in so I can get down here for maintenance, as well as for expansion, of course. But this is pretty much the general setup of what I'm doing. I think this is probably probably one of the most compact ways you can use a crafty crate, um, especially to be able to make it expandable like this. Um, I've seen uh, similar, I've seen setups before that used uh, the pulse, uh, a mana pulse, as well as like a pulse detector type thing. I keep hearing a zombie. Um, but those end up being a pretty wide footprint, and so it'd be difficult to get this many things crafting in one small space. I mean, this is, when it's expanded out to this row right here with these repeaters, that's going to be eight different items I can craft. And that's only, that's really only taking up a seven area wide by, 
what is that? Three, six, nine, twelve. So yeah, seven by twelve by twelve. We'll be crafting eight. I could probably make it a little bit more compact, but I'm pretty proud of this area actually. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, do some beta decorating, uh, kind of fill in everything, make it all working, and I'll get back to you once I have something a little more impressive to show than just this area here. Um, the reason why I'm not doing too much building on camera is it's kind of getting annoying. I think I need to replace my mouse actually because it keeps doing like the weird double click I was showing you. Um, gets really annoying when trying to place those hoppers. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna expand a little bit and probably put a nice little floor so you can walk around and take a look at things. So I'm going in and putting in the uh, border as well as some elf glass here. And I thought of an issue that I'll probably run into. Um, this is counting as block, so I can't really seal this off nicely. I might, I'm might i not sure if uh, the redstone paste works with uh, chiseled in bits. Um, I do have that in this pack as well, so that might be a thing to look at. Um, otherwise, not sure. I might put a border around each of these still because I don't really like just the glass just kind of at an edge here. Um, but, yeah, this is kind of the general idea I'm going with. I'm going to have, of course, the walls and floor down there will be some other sort of block as well. But uh, for now, this is starting to turn out pretty good. Um, probably put something under this. I might switch it out for just regular raw stone, but I'm not sure how far I'm going to go that way. Um, I still have another project I want to get done, which is, so this is kind of for the more complicated crafting. Um, I also need to do some simple crafting. Uh, that would be for, uh, like, turning wood into planks. Um, let's see, I can make a uh, chest, like I had said. Don't want this block, I want this block. I did swap out my uh, mice here. I have, well, I have more mice than I probably should, actually. Um, this uh, particular one, I haven't used too much because the scroll wheel's a little weird on it, but uh, for the most part, for playing like Minecraft, it doesn't really affect my playing too much. It's like, when I'm scrolling through my thing, suddenly it'll start scrolling backward. Um, I did uh, crack it open and clean it a little bit, and it seemed to help a little bit, so that's good. Um, but I think I'm going to try using this mouse for a little bit. That way I can at least, uh, you know, right click and not either place two or not place any at all. So let me think of how I want to set up the, uh, kind of more simple crafting and also of course where I want to set that up. So I will get right back to you with that. So I've been trying to think of what type of items I'd want to use for my simple crafting. Uh, with that I mean I'll be using the crafty crates, um, basically with very simple recipes. So for instance this would be... Um, something like turning oak into oak planks. You know, it's very simple. Wood goes in, planks come out, done. Um, and so, trying to think of that. I only have four corporeal crystal cubes left here, so I'm going to start with off with just four items. And I think I'm going to go with the items I need in order to make everything. Um, first off, I need redstone torches, because I need these to be able to combine them with books to get redstone. Um, so I need that. So I'll need that for... Uh, basically everything that's going to be automated, it's going to use one of these. Every item is going to use one. Um, for the oh, wrong button, for this, of course, I'm going to need sticks. So with sticks, I'm going to need two vertical planks. Um, so I think my items I'm going to do are going to be uh, logs into wood, or logs into planks, sorry, uh, planks into sticks, and probably then uh, I'll, of course, need chests as well. I need lots of those. So I think I'm going to start off with those three items. Uh, Planks, sticks, chests. So let me get the materials together for that. We need a couple hoppers, and I don't remember if I have any more in here. Let's grab all of them. Um, we'll grab, I don't have any chests in this, no. Um, let's see, let's get a stack of oak wood again. And turn you into planks. So let's get a couple chests to start off. Okay, so with that, I then need to get some Dreamwood Planks. Um, I have crafting benches here. Let's turn those into, I have now six crafting crates. That works. Uh, it's a little more than I'll need, but whatever. Um, and I have my hoppers. I have my bookcases. I have my redstone books. Um, I need... Do I need any repeaters for this? I don't think I do, actually. Uh, no, I don't. I just need comparators. So I'll grab those. I'll grab those anyway. Um, don't think I need any torches. Okay. I think I have everything I need. So let's go ahead and go downstairs. No, this block as measuring things. So, locations. We're going to have this hallway down here. 
uh, this whole area, probably going to just have it go the entire length. Uh, it's going to be for my auto crafting for more complex things. Uh, right now everything's not even turned on. I don't even have a timer in there. Um, mostly because I need to have the resources to be able to put in these. Um, I also need to figure out what I'm going to use to put items into the droppers. So I've got a couple options on that. So this is going to go all the way over here. So I think what we're going to do is we're not going to need too much space for our simple crafting. I think we're going to put it over on this section over here. Basically the rest of this basement area is going to be just auto crafting things. I'm going to leave lots of room to expand, but I think most of the rest of my automation is going to take place outside of here. So I'll have like a tree farm, Brian's own building, I've got kind of plans for that. But yeah, you can't get the, the picture here. I think I'm just going to leave this maybe back here. I might put a door from that, from the uh, living wood area. Um, it kind of just goes on its own. This is going to last me a long time. So I'm just going to leave him there. Uh, I don't have... Do I have any? No. It's not smelted yet. Okay, whatever. I don't need walls yet. Um, basically, we're just going to use this area here. So let's go ahead and start off by placing craft crate up there. Perfect. And next up, we're going to need a hopper to go into it. Now, this item, this uh, open crate here, or I keep saying that because that's what the whale says. Um, this one here is going to be just single item into whatever. So it's going to be logs into planks and all that stuff. I think I'm just going to have two sets of things going into here for now. Um, that should be good enough. And what I could actually do is I could set up the whitelist on that uh, item collector over there to pick up these items as well. I might do that. Yeah. Um, so let's place a hopper on the side as well. I need a random block. Doesn't really matter what. First off, I'm going to stand up here. So this goes like this. We're going to place our comparator, same as before, straight into the hopper. Uh, these are going to be really simple. It's going to have a single item here, so it doesn't really matter if these are both going at the same time. Only one item will go in. So that's set up there, and let's... I'm going to swap these out later, but for now this works. And a corporeal crystal cube. I don't remember if I have any sparks on me. I probably don't. Place you there. Place you there. Let's check to see if I have it. No sparks in there. And any in here? Probably not. I think I just took them out. Yep. Okay, so these will get linked up, whatever. I need two more item nodes, and I need the actual pattern for this. So let me run upstairs, and I'll grab those. Alrighty. The last thing we need is the one by one crafting pattern. It's made pretty simple, just a single redstone to mark where the actual item will go, and then crafting patterns everywhere else. Or crafting placeholders, sorry. Now, the cool thing with these is that they don't actually get used. It just marks your, uh, your craft, I keep calling it open crate, <laughs> it marks your crafty crate here, uh, and then you keep it. So you really only need to make one of these. Um, I'll probably make another of these exalted crafters to store all my crafting materials. So I have a building one and a crafting one, but I've got that in there. So this setup here, I have oak wood going straight down. Um, this guy here, I'm going to put a blank filter in here, uh, which will basically mean that nothing can go into it. For now, I haven't decided what else I need in this area. I know I want uh, oak wood. Um, I'm probably going to have dream wood uh, planks be made in there as well, because um, I'll need that for the crafty crates. But also, this should last me a little while. Not too hard to make them. Um, so, I haven't linked anything up yet. Let's throw what is this planks in here. And let's throw a corporeal spark on that, as well as on this one. We have a grand total of eight oak wood planks. Awesome. And last but not least, we need our bookcase. Let's place you against that. I think it's okay. Uh, hmm. If that acts as a solid block, it'll probably turn off my hoppers, so let's not put you there. Slowly breaking. I know I have an axe right next to that. Oh, well. Um, so let's break. Yeah. Break you. Let's place a random block here. Doesn't really matter what it is. Oh, bookcase right there. And now let's, yeah, let's just break it. Cool. Huh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so bookcase goes there. Let's open you, open you up, and place our redstone volume one. Uh, this is going to be for planks. I'm going to want quite a few of that. So let's do is this two, four, six. No, two, four, eight. 16, 32, 
64. So here's two stacks, four stacks. Yeah, four stacks is probably good. Uh, I think it's actually, that's probably only, yeah, whatever, that works. I'll see how much that gets me, and then I'll adjust it from there. Um, so that's hooked up. This isn't doing anything yet. That's fine. That hopper is not going to be loaded with anything. So, yeah. Next up. Um, do I have, do you have planks on me? Okay. Open you. We're just going to set this up this way. Um, bump you a little bit each direction. Let's take my item filter out here. It's going to cause lots of noise. You can also now pick up oak wood planks. So then when I uh, put the other thing in, okay, that should work. When I put the other uh, crafting system here in for this next one, um, yeah, it'll pick up those as well. So I think we're good. Let's go ahead and link things up. If I have my router, here we go. Throw you in there. And let's link. And I can never remember which is going where. This row is going up, which is the depositing line. Okay, so take you and link you to here. That should now be filling up with wood. Awesome, and it's dropping it as well. Uh, that's only set. Uh, my solignolia apparently is not. Uh, is it not picking up through the wall? That's a little annoying. That's a lot of wood being made there. Should be within range to be picked up. I might have to actually put a hopper here and an import line. Yeah, well, okay. Um, I don't have a lever on me, do I? I have a torch, that'll work. You. Stop. Okay. Um, let's, <laughs> let's throw all this in here now. Can I reach that? Okay. Don't need near as much. 544. Why is that? Oh, because, yeah, that's my... That's where it's linking. Okay. Well, they will turn them off anyway. So, break you. Um, let's patch that hole. Put you, you there. Um, let's break that. I don't want to break the one that has the repeater under it, or on it. Break these just to clean things up. I might put slabs, maybe? We'll see. And do I have, I have another hopper on me. And a chest. So I'm going to run upstairs and grab a uh, import thing here, but I think this will work. I'm not sure why they didn't pick it up. That should be within range. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it's definitely within range. I'm not sure why it wasn't picking it up. Unless I, I probably put the wrong item in the filter, didn't I? Or it didn't take my filter item. Oh, it did that last time actually as well. Okay, no problem. We can fix that. You. Ha. Do I have to do that or something? Hmm. There we go. So left click apparently, I was right clicking before. Okay, whatever. So put you there. Don't need the hopper or anything. Don't need the import line. This should all just work. So break you, break you. And you, let's bump you to this line. Which is still more than I have. Okay, um, let's go here. New. 10.24. There we go. Cool. So that's working. That's basically pulling them, pulling them into my inventory. Awesome. Automatically making wood. Step one is done. Next up, we're going to do a similar thing over on this side. So I want at least an empty space, so redstone things don't mess up. Hopper here, and yeah, we'll do it like this. So hopper in, hopper in. Uh, this one is going to be set up for my sticks. Because I, I also need the sticks for these uh, item filters. So that means I think at that point everything should exist to make these auto-crafted somewhat. Um, okay, have that set up there. Let's place you here, you here. Let's grab a, not a repeater, but a comparator. 
Place you there. Place you there. Grab random block again. Block, block. Break you. It's a pretty simple setup of the way this works. And I mean, it's not exactly tileable the way this works, but it's not going to take up too much room. Break you. Um, don't steal my book. We're going to put this, I think, here. How many sticks did this give me? Oh, didn't want that. Where I threw my axe out already, didn't I? We'll break it the hard way. So you kind of get the general idea. I'm going to slowly add in more of this auto crafting. Very simple setups, just where I don't need to do any sort of um, like order of items that go in. It's basically, I'm just making here sticks. I think just sticks. I don't need living wood sticks for anything. I need a dream wood for that axe I just made, but I don't think I'll need to auto craft that. Yeah, so I think just sticks. Yeah, I probably won't even need the second one. In fact, you know what? Since I don't need it, I'm going to break this because I do need spark. So let's go ahead. Crystal cube on here with a corporeal spark on it. And let's make some sticks. 124. Okay, that should work. Um, you know, let's add sticks to that filter as well just so I don't have to worry about that. Um, oh, right click the wrong thing. You. Okay, grab you and sticks. And let's double check. Good, it did add. Toss you in. Basically done. Actually, yeah, I am done. I don't need the routing node. Well, that did just lose my filter. Uh, oh, that, actually, that was surprising. It didn't just fall into the uh, hopper. Let me double check that. Um, it's kind of annoying with the uh, crafty crates and hoppers like this. Yeah, okay, so it did take my filter. <laughs> so if you mouse over the uh, crafty crate with your living wood wand, it will show you what's in it. So you will go in there. Let's place output routing node here. And down, I want a filter with wood. And let's just keep a stack in here. 64. Cool. You're set up. Let's go ahead and link you. Let's double check before I do. You're not putting redstone signal because you don't have enough. Place you here, is it? I don't need that many sticks, but I'd like to not have to worry about it. So that'll work. Um, let's link you to, let's just link it directly here. You are not dropping sticks yet. Why are you not dropping sticks? You're filling with wood. You are not putting a redstone signal. Right? Hmm. Oh wait, you're not putting a redstone signal because you have... Wait, no. Oh. I didn't set this yet. Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> trial and error. Let's go ahead, get our crafter here. I don't need that one. I want, I think it looks like that. Item, item. Yeah, crafting pattern. So let's slap you on here. There we go. And, oh, just like that we have enough. Bump you up. It's automatically dropping them. It's getting picked up by the thing up there and filling up my inventory with sticks. Awesome. I have automatic sticks, automatic wood. And now I can actually start automating my other crafting. So let me get the materials for that and we will get this set up. Basically just need to set up my import into this. I need to figure out what I want to use for this import as well. But I think this is uh, pretty much set up to work. So it should, everything should be pretty simple at this point. I did a little bit of work off camera. Um, as you can see, I've got uh, another one set up over here for making chests. Currently it's up to 72. I think I have it set for two stacks. Um, and then I actually uh, I broke the second one here, as well as I did have a second one here, and then I broke it too. Um, the reason for that is the way that this is set up with the... Uh, um, oh, why am I lighting? Optifying weird. Um, the reason I have just one going in, and the way it's set up like this, is that I don't really know, like right now, yeah, there's a single plank in there, so if I were to feed 
a second item into that, it would probably just jam up. Um, actually, I think it'll just drop both items. I'm not entirely sure. But I think I'm just going to leave it as just a single item into this. If I need another thing in a stick shape like that, then I'll just set up another one. Um, I think I'm going to have kind of this hallway. Or not really hallway, but I'll have this room go all the way back to here if needed. Uh, right now it's just the three things. Uh, wood planks, planks to sticks, and then also planks to chests. So with that, I now have all the parts I need to be able to make the hoppers over at the main crafting area over there. Um, I'll also put in a little window here. I'll put in a door once I build one. Uh, this way you can you can look in. You don't need to go in, and it's nicely centered. Um, I have I did put another item collector here. This is just set for everything, and I think yeah, just checking to make sure it wasn't getting filled with wood or stone from over here. Yeah, so it is out of range. Um, yeah, so I think that works. That way, also with this, I can stretch the uh, um, x direction or the z, whichever ends up being to go further this direction, um, just so I can collect all this. I might also bump this further back here, just to center in whatever room I have. Um, for now, though, I think that's pretty much set up. Um, I want to do one last thing before we finish up here, and that is I want to actually get... Let's get some food so I can run. Um, I want to actually get at least one of these to be working. So let's take a look over here and see what we need to actually finish this. So we've got here... These droppers need to have materials in them. So, I'm not really sure how I like my options on this. Um, item nodes from Blood Magic, I think that's what I'm going to use. But the, the problem is that I'm actually running into a bit of a uh, almost bandwidth issue. Uh, it only seems to move about 8 items per little second or whatever. Um, and the problem with that is, once I have lots of things being automated all at once, it can't really keep up. So for instance, if I throw these in here, you can see it's slowly counting down. It's also counting down like that um, with all the other automation I have. So for instance, smelting. Smelting stone, especially, is kind of slowing us down. Uh, the cobblestone and the obsidian as well. Those are kind of just constantly flowing in. The obsidian's done. So, yeah. I'm going to get some materials. I think I'll put together at least one set of uh, the item nodes. And then we can build that and have at least one thing automated. This is interesting. My blood altar is empty. Came over here to get some uh, slates. But my blood altar is empty. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, it might be just that, like, with loading and unloading of chunks that it uh, lost these. Or maybe all my witches despawned. That's a little annoying. I'm going to have to go find more of those. Um, that's probably still running up there, then. Okay, well, that kind of puts a damper on things. I wonder how much, ma how much uh, LP I actually have. Don't have my uh, divination sigil on me. Um, okay. Uh, that might run into problems, because I do have most things in my base running on rituals. Um, so that's kind of fun. Uh, let's see if we can go find a witch. It is now day, so they're probably not going to be around. Um, I think I put blaze, or not, I don't know. oh yeah, that's right. I had another blaze spawner, but I already placed it down, apparently. Um, let's see if there's any witches left over real quick here. They tend to spawn over in this area. Um, or not. I might have to set up an actual sort of, uh, like, spawning room. Either a vanilla-type, uh, mob spawner, or... I do have soul shards on here. I've been trying to avoid using it. Um, just out of it, it kind of feels cheaty. <laughs> um, just being able to do whatever you need. Um, so I'm gonna wait for next night. Uh, grab a few more witches. I think for now I can go grab those, uh, slates and at least have one stack, but... That's going to be a little bit of a problem in, I guess, a few episodes, probably. Um, yeah, let me get the rest of the slates and start making some item nodes. So things that don't despawn and also uh, tend to heal themselves rather rapidly. These guys. Let's, uh, let's steal you. I've got, I've got a plan for you. You're going to be my new source of LP. I, I still haven't figured out a way to actually kill these guys um, without, like teleporting them around to get them out of their uh, fire stuff. So, I wonder what would happen if I put these underneath the uh, well of, what is it called? The well of suffering. Um, I kind of want to see if that'll actually work. I'd imagine it would. There's only going to be two of them, because I still only have two guys. Um, still only the two, so it's not going to be as useful. Why is there fire guardian? Did 
Did I accidentally teleport him already? Is he inside my base? Apparently. Okay. Oh, I think I, I meant to do my flight spell, but I just dropped him instead. <laughs> so... Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Where'd you go? Okay, where is my stop moving spell? Thank you. We grab you. Trying to burn my base down. Which is luckily not wood, right? Yeah, I don't have any wood anywhere. <laughs> I do have wood over here. Is that going to be a problem? Not really. I'm, all this wood is temporary and it's going to be replaced anyway. So, let's... I can't imagine that I can actually box him in here. It's worth a shot. Oh, it sounds like he's getting damage at least, so that's good. Um, everything's burning. It's always fun. Now the question is, are you getting blood? You are. Ha ha ha. Okay, let me go grab the other one. <laughs> it's the stupidest idea ever. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. Um, I came back and my first fire guardian was gone. And so I'm trying to figure it out. And I think that as long as he can't see a player, he won't heal himself. So, yeah, looks like I found a spot to be able to farm fire guardians. Um, I also grabbed a witch just to throw in here anyway. Um, just because that's still the better option. I'm not sure why they despawned, but I'm not too concerned about it. There we go. Did you drop anything? Oh, awesome. I got the, the antenna of the fire guardian. And I got my red orb. Woo! Awesome. Um, and a bit of experience. Don't care about that. So, let's throw you back in here. I already named you. You're good. I have my red slate. Or I have my uh, blank slates. So, let's go ahead and finish up over here. Since I think we're kind of getting over time right now. Alrighty. Last thing to finish up. We have our droppers in order here. We have our output nodes. Nothing's linked up yet. Um, so, the way this works is the bottommost uh, dropper would be, if you're looking at the crafting grid here, the bottom most is going to be this one right here. So basically it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got our stack of 9 here. So let's go ahead and set this up. Now the first item that we need, which would be in the first set, uh, let's grab our filter. Just one. Uh, we don't want this down, we want it north. So the first item here is going to be uh, iron. So let's place you there. And we want we don't want too much iron sitting here, so let's say 16. Quarter stack should be good. That'll go there. Perfect. Next up, uh, this one here would be, so it goes iron, 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 iron. Chest in the middle, so this one here is going to be blank. So, again, this needs to be north. There we go, north, and we need a crafting placeholder. For here, we're going to put also 16. Um, I have a bunch of these in my inventory. I don't really need that many. I don't need them to be auto-crafted or anything, I don't think. Um, the reason for that is that um, they'll get uh, spit out at the end. So it'll spit out my hopper in this case, and then also all of the crafting placeholders. So this one here is iron. So 16 of you. Okay, next up. This one here is this one right here. So that's another iron. Real simple. Again, I don't want this to be down. I want it to be north. <laughs> We have iron, and I want 16 of you. Okay. Next up, this one here in the middle, that was going to be chests. Ah, I keep doing this. North. I wish it would just default to whichever side it was actually attached to. Um, chest. We want, yeah, I think 16 is a good number for these. Next one up here, can I reach you? Yeah, I can. Cool, that's going to be another piece of iron. So... I want one of you. Iron. 16. Now, unfortunately, with this setup, I could have probably designed it a little bit better so that it would actually uh, you know, be easy to insert these things <laughs> instead of having to climb up here to be able to finish it. But again, it is 9 tall, so that's a problem. Um, I should have 3 left, right? Yeah. Okay, so this one here is another crafting placeholder. North. Item filter. Crafting place. Crafting placeholder, 16. Cool. Next one's going to be another iron. 
So let's get 16 of you. Um, I'm hoping I have enough iron for making a stack or so of these hoppers, but if not, then I'll find out, and then I'll have to set up a uh, orchid system. And 16 crafting placeholders. So with that, everything should be hooked up. So let's fly. Fly. There we go. Um, so this here is going to be my input line, which is or output from system. So that's you. And let's link you to you. That should now work. Let's check. Arrows, that's not what I wanted. Ah, right. North. <laughs> yeah, don't need arrows. Um, did I do that here as well? I did. <laughs> of course I did. North. There we go, that should... Right, north, yeah. Okay, um, don't need the arrows. Actually, if I drop these down here, that should be within range. I set up an item collector down there, so that should get picked up. Yep, there we go. Okay, so let's link you and you. You should now be getting iron. Perfect. Double check you. You're north gay. Good. You and you. You and you. So you should be getting iron. You should be getting... That good, 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 good. Almost done here. Link, link. That's north, right? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna end up dumping my entire inventory system into a dropper. It's kind of annoying that it opens up. It used to not open it up when you'd uh, right-click with the router. So okay, iron, blank, iron, iron chest iron and I think I already checked the top three here crafting placeholder another iron and another crafting placeholder awesome we've got our hourglass here we have two hoppers in the system right now let's throw our red sand in and now we wait so it's gonna click everything along this line here because I only have the one line set up properly yet but that should two, and you should quickly say three, if I link that up. Come on. That didn't work. Why didn't you work? Let's grab our wand here. You. That is not what you should look like. Okay. That's also not what you should look like. Let's try that again. Um, do I have another piece of sand? I don't. But I have... Can I place you anywhere? Not really. Uh, sure. That should have worked now. What did I do wrong? Okay, well, you get the general idea. I'm going to sort through this, figure out what went wrong. Um, I think it's just something with the ordering or maybe how the hoppers are feeding into it that it's uh, just pulling in a different order. Um, but I think this is a good wrapping up point. Should be iron, right, iron. Why's my hopper nut? Oh, okay, yeah, so I think it's a good wrapping up point. Um, I can basically keep expanding the system. Um, I'm gonna troubleshoot that, figure out why that's in the wrong order, but it's probably just a stupid mistake on my part. So we will get that sorted out. But I hope you like this. Um, it's going to be kind of a system I'm going to be using quite a lot in the future. going to just constantly expand this out as I need more items auto-crafted. Um, I am running low on wood now, <laughs> so I might actually have to make that uh, tree farm next. So I do have some pretty cool plans for that. I hope you like it, but I have to do a lot of planning on that one. Um, but yes, if you have any sort of feedback, positive or negative, I'd love to hear it. I um, love hearing from you guys in general. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.